Thank you, Democratic Committee and Margaret, for giving the opportunity to speak with you all this morning. And I know you all are wondering who I am and why I decided to run. So first, I'll talk about who I am. My name is Jennifer Carroll Foy, and I'm running for the House of Delegates in the 2nd District that encompasses part of Prince William and Stafford County. I am married to Jeffrey Foy, uh, Jeff, both live in Woodbridge. Um, Jeff is the head track coach for Potomac High School. They broke a lot of regional records this year, so we're proud of them. He also works for two nonprofits in Woodbridge and Prince William, well, Prince William County in general that house the homeless population in Prince William and surrounding jurisdictions. Um, I have also been a foster parent for several years. Um, I also am one of the first female and one of the first African American females to graduate from Virginia Military Institute, which is the best military college in the United States. Something I'm very proud of. Um, so now I'm a public defense attorney. Uh, more specifically, I'm a public defender. And what that means is that on a daily basis, I protect the constitutional rights and civil liberties of some of the Commonwealth's most vulnerable people. So that's children, the indigent, and of course the mentally ill. So when I'm not doing that, I also teach at Little Jane Community College. I teach criminal law. Before that, I was a magistrate judge in Richmond, serving citizens of Richmond, and I also taught at Virginia State University. So, why is it that I want to run? I believe that the citizens of Prince William and Stafford County is looking for a fresh new leadership with creative ideas who's willing to zealously advocate for the issues that's important to our community. So down in Richmond, they think and talk about a lot of broad picture issues, gun control, uh, the Roe versus Wade Day of Tears, that is a waste of time and taxpayers' money. What is affecting the citizens on a daily basis? Transportation. I am a commuter. I'm working on Arlington. I can spend two hours each way going 22 miles. That's a problem. We are losing businesses and citizens in the community because of traffic congestion. Now, I know that there have been offered some solutions, but I have additional solutions. So if the HOV lane is going down two miles into Stafford, why not 10? The bottleneck is just going to be pushed further back. Right? Let's look into other options and extending the BRE and improving the transportation infrastructure that's already there. So also, economic opportunities, improving education, and of course, protecting women's rights and Im immigrants' rights, which I do already on a daily basis. So I believe, given my experience, given my education as a grassroots organizer, an advocate, an attorney, as a foster parent, working with nonprofits, also, understanding the inner workings of governmental agencies and being able to get things done with all people makes me a great candidate. Now, I understand that it is going to be a difficult fight in Richmond. However, as far as fighting goes, it's something I'm very familiar with, right? <laughs> I had to fight and persevere every single day I was at Virginia Military Institute against people who did not want me there, did not like me because of my gender, because of my race, and not like me thought completely different opposite than what I did. However, we have to come together and work together in order to plan and execute for the common good and make things happen. That's, no, that's what I know how to do, that's what I have been doing, and that's what I will do for people in the second district. Now, I also understand the importance of education. Now, I deal with foster kids. What does that mean? It, that means that these are children coming from very disadvantaged backgrounds. So I understand the importance of smaller teacher to student ratio classrooms because you have kids with IEPs, with disabilities, and coming from really, really bad circumstances, something that they do not need to worry about is education. They need that individualized attention. And statistics show that when students come from classrooms with smaller teacher-to-student ratios, they learn better. And I try to instill in every single foster child that comes through my door <coughs> that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters where you're going, and you'll get there because it's probably education. So that can only happen if we invest in our teachers and we invest in our schools. So what does that mean? Smaller student-teacher ratios in the classroom. That also means paying our teachers competitive salaries because we are losing teachers to other jurisdictions, Alexandria, Fairfax, Arlington. We need to make sure that we can retain and attract top talent teachers right here in Stafford and in Woodbridge. And that's something that I definitely want to advocate for. So I don't want to take up too much time here um, I want to give everyone the opportunity to speak. But I have stood for Obama, I have stood with him, I have stood with Bernie, and I have stood with Hillary. Why? Because I believe in their progressive agenda. 
and I ask for you all to stand with me to take our progressive ideas and values down to Richmond. Please vote on June 13th, and of course, I'm asking for your support. So thank you, and I'm